say one more exact one more question question number 2 1 or 2 whole power 5 1 or 2 whole power 5 so uh, generally uh, like uh, lower sections 8 standard 7 standard 1 or 2 whole power 5 if it is given to them the people what they will you do 1 or 2 into 1 or 2 into 1 or 2 into 1 or 2 5 times they take and they will multiply they will multiply now see using the binomial theorem how we can do so we can write it 100 plus 2 all power 5 if we expand it if you compare with x plus y all power m see when you compare with that x value is 100 and y value as 10 sorry y value as 2 and n value as 5 x value 100 y value 2 and n value 5 ok now what do we can write nc0 first write the expansion nc0 x power n minus 0 y power 0 nc1 x power n minus 1 y power 1 and so on ncr x power n minus r y power r ncn x power n minus n y power n and so on now write 100 plus 2 whole power 5 phi c 0 phi c 0 100 power 1 phi minus 0 into 2 power 0 next phi c 1 100 power 1 phi minus 1 into 2 power 1 phi c 2 100 power 1 phi minus 2 into 2 power 2 2 power 2 then 5 c 3 100 power 5 minus 3 into 2 power 3 5 c 4 100 power 5 minus 4 into 2 power 4 plus 5 c 5 100 power 5 minus 5 into 2 power 5 See previous I explained you already phi c0, phi c1, all the values and I told you the first term, last term, it is 1. So I am going to use those all the values which we know. What are the values? Phi c0, phi c1, which is 1. Phi c, sorry, phi c5. Phi c1 and phi c4, which is 5. The next one. 5c2 and 5c3 which is f. I'm going to use all those terms which we know already. Now 5c0 which is 1 into 100 power 5. 100 power 5 into 2 power 0 1. Then 5c1 5 into 100 power 4 into 2. Then 5c2 by c2 value 10 into 100 power 3 into 4 plus phi c3 what is the value phi c3 10 into 100 power 5 minus 3 so 100 power 2 into 2 cube 8 plus phi c4 phi c4 value is 5 100 power 1 into 2 power 4 16 and pi c 5 which is 1 100 power 0 also 1 and 2 power 5 32 ok Now, simply each one, 100 power 5, it means it is 10 square, 10 power 10, 10 power 10, 1, so 10, 10 zeros, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus, plus 5 into 2, 10, here 10 square, 2 for the 8, 
So 10 into 10 power 8 is 10 power 9. So 1 after 9 zeros. 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Plus 10 after 10, 10 power 6. So 10 power 7. So 4, 4 into 7 zeros. 7. Plus here 10 into 10 power 4. So it is 10 power 5 totally. 10 power 5 into 8. So 8 after 5 zeros. Then 5 into 16. 88,000 plus 32. 8032. Now simplify all these values. You simplify. Yeah, how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 zeros. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 zeros. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 zeros. Yeah, 5 zeros. Yeah, 3 zeros. Then no zeros. Now, you add all those. So now, 1, 1. 1, 1, 0, 4, 0, 8, 0, 8, 0, 3, 2. This is our answer. Next, one more problem. One more problem. One more uh, condition x plus y whole power n and x minus y whole power n and another one x plus y whole power n minus x power y whole power now if you expand it and after after expansion if you do addition x plus y whole power n plus x minus y whole power n if you do what are the terms will be Okay. 2 into mc0 x power n minus 0 y power 0 mc2 x power n minus 2 into y power 2 mc4 x power n minus 4 y power 4 and so on and next one if you take this one if you take this one what will be there? 2 into nc1 x power n minus 1 y power 1 nc3 x power n minus 3 y power 3 nc5 x power n minus 5 y power 5 and so on. So this is expansion. Okay, next. How many terms? will be there when you expand these terms when you expand those terms it is depend upon the n value which is even and odd see I'll tell you if n is even if n is odd if n is even if n is odd See, x plus y whole power m. Here, n is even and n is odd. If n is even, here, the number of terms will be, we are talking number of terms. n plus 2 by 2 terms will be present in that. If n is even. 
Next. In this, if n is even, how many terms will be there? n by 2 terms will be there. Next. If n is odd, n plus 1 by 2, there also n plus 1 by 2 terms will be Okay, let us see a problem. Based on this, how many terms? The question here is find the number of terms in the expansion of x plus y, x plus 2y whole power 20 plus x minus 2y whole power 20. x plus 2y whole power 20 plus x minus 2y whole power 20. Here, now, it is double the same thing and n value is 20 which is even. Which is even. So, when it is an even, now what formula we are supposed to apply? 10 plus 2 by 2. So, 20 plus 2 by 2. So, 22 by 2 which is 11 terms. So, when you do addition x plus 2y whole power 20 plus x minus 2, 2 by whole power 20, the number of terms will be 11. Okay? Now, we have seen the number of terms. Now, we will see a problem of the expansion. What is the simplification? Right? Now the question it is, find a plus b whole power 4, a minus b whole power 4. Find or expand or simplify. So any one of them, find, expand, simplify. Using this, we have to find the value root 3 plus root 2 whole power 4 root 3 minus root 2 whole power 4 ok now previous question we have seen number of terms how many terms are there here n value is 4 so the concept is n plus 2 by 2 it means 4 plus 2 by 2 6 by 2 so it is 3 so when you expand it should have after simplification it should have 4 sorry 3 terms now a plus b whole power 4, a plus b whole power 4, I am going to write the a plus b whole power 4 expansion, 4c is 0, a power 4 minus 0 into b power 0, 4c 1, a power 4 minus 1, b power 1, 4c 2, a power 4 minus 2, b power 2, 4c 3, a power 4 minus 3, b power 3, 4c4, four four, a power 4 minus 4, b power 4. Now expand it. 4c0, 1, a power 4, 4c1, four, 4, a cube, b, 4c2. What is 4c2? 4 factorial by 4 minus 2, 2 factorial into 2 factorial. So after simplification, now 4 into 3 into 2 factorial by 2 factorial into 2 into 1. So you get 6 a square b square. Then 4c0, 4c4, 4c1, 4c3. Now 4c2 we got it. Now 4c3 value is 4 a b cube. Then 4c4 is 1 a power 0 also 1 into b power 4. So the value expansion a power 4, 4 a cube b, 6 a square b square, 4 a b cube plus b power 4. This is an expansion of a plus b whole power 4.
So what is the expansion? A power 4, 4 a cube b, 6 a square b square, 4 a b cube plus b power 4. The next one, a minus b whole power 4. So what is that? a power 4, here minus right? So alternatively minus will come. Minus 4 a cube b, 6 a square b square minus 4 a b cube plus b power 4. Now actually what is the question? a plus b whole power 4 plus a minus b whole power 4. So we have to do addition. When you do the addition, a plus b whole power 4 plus a minus b whole power 4. If you do the addition, these terms, negative symbols, will be cancelled, opposite symbol. So then, 2 into a power 4, 6 a square b square plus b power 4. So how many terms? 1, 2, 3. How many terms we need to get? 3 terms. So we got it? 3 terms. So what is the superior value? a plus b whole power 4 plus a minus b whole power 4 which is equal to 2 into a power 4 plus 6 a square b square plus b power 4. Now using that we need to find root 3 plus 2 whole power 4 plus root 3 minus root 2 whole power 4. So the same thing I am going to write it here. Root 3 plus root 2 whole power 4 plus root 3 minus root 2 whole power 4. So what is a for root 3 and b for root 2. So 2 into root 3 whole power 4, 6 into root 3 whole square into root 2 whole square plus root 2 whole power 4. Root 2 whole power 4. Now, if you simplify 2 into, okay, now, now 2 into root 3 whole power 4, 3 power 1 by 2, 3 power 1 by 2 whole power 4, it is 3 square, 3 square plus 6 into 3 into 2 plus it is 2 square. Now, 2 into 9 6 is the 18 plus 2, that is 6 plus 4. Now, 2 into 36, 40, 49. So, the answer, final answer is 98. So, what we have done it? A plus B whole power 4 plus A minus B whole power 4 expansion. Using that one, we try to explain root 3 plus root 2 whole power 4 plus root 3 minus root 2 whole power 4. That is 98. Prove that 6 power n minus 5 n always leaves remainder 1 when divided by 25. See, uh, in the 10th standard we learned one concept. Euclid division on the diagram. What is that? A is equal to B Q plus R. A is equal to B Q plus R. So, according to that, this is a number. So, 6 power n minus 5 n. When you multiply, when you divide, 25. So 25k remainder is 1. Remainder is 1. So we need to show that always remainder is 1. Okay. Now we have to go for binomial theorem expansions. 6 power n. What we can write? 1 plus 5 whole power n. 1 plus 5 whole power n. So now what is 1 plus 5 whole power n expansion how to do? Same thing, x plus 5 whole power n, mc 0, x power n minus 0 into y power 0, mc 1, x power n minus 1, y power 1, and so on, mc r, x power n minus r, y power r, and so on, mc n, x power n minus n, y power n. Now if you apply that one, 1 plus 5, whole power n. So now, mc0 as this, x value as 1. What is x value? 1. And what is y value? 1. So now if you apply 1 power m minus 0, 5 power 0. 
pi power 0 then nc1 nc1 1 power n minus 1 into 5 into 1 one more term will write it nc2 nc2 1 power n minus 2 into pi square and so on phi c r sorry n c r 1 power n minus r into pi power r and so on n c n n c n 1 power n minus n 0 into pi power n now n c 0 value we know that is 1 1 into 1 into 1 plus n c 1 is n into 1 into 5 plus n c 2 into 1 into 25 and so on n c r into 1 power 1 pi power r and so on n c n is 1 into 1 pi power n okay What is the question? 6 power n minus 5 n. So this we call it 6 power n. From here, that 5 n, let us carry this way. Six power n, one plus this is what? Five n and c two. 25 and so on ncr pi power r and so on pi power n now what i'm what i'm trying to do pi n i'll carry this way. 6 power n minus 5 n 1 plus from all these terms i'm going to take 25 if i take 25 what i get it nc2 and so on in this also 25 if you take it means pi square if you take it n c r into pi power r minus 2 and so on pi power n minus 2 pi power n minus 2 now 6 power n minus 5 n what we can write it 1 plus 25 into some k what i am assuming is all that i am taking as a k so now 6 power n minus 5 n is equal to 1 plus 25k. Already we expect it using the Euclid division algorithm. So this proves that when 6 power n minus 5 n, when it divides with 25, you will get the remainder as 1. This completes our solution. Now, last question. Sigma r is equal to 0 to n, 3 power r, n c r is equal to 4 power m. It means r value we have to start from 0 up to m. Now, first one, see if you apply the conditions n c 0, n c 0, 3 power 0. Because of sigma, I am writing plus. Then r value 0 to n. It means r value you can take 0, 1, 2 up to n. So then nc1 3 power 1, nc2 3 power 2 and so on nc n 3 power n. Now what we can write it nc0 into 1 into 3 power 0, nc1 1 into 3 power 1, nc2 into 1 into 3 power 2 and so on nc n 1 into 3 power n. So next one, what I can write it, nc0, 1 power n minus 0 into 3 power 0, nc1, 1 into 1 power n minus 1 into 3 power 1, because 1 power anything is 1. Then nc2, 1 power n minus 2 into 3 power 2, and so on, ncn, 1 power n minus n into 3 power n. It is looking like expansion of nc0 x power n minus 0 into y power 0 
nc1 x power n minus 1 into y power 1 plus nc2 into x power n minus 2 into y power 2 and so on ncn 1 power sorry x power n minus n into y power n now easily you could apply the formula what is what you can write it x plus y whole power n what is that x plus y whole power n what is x value 1 what is y value 3 whole power n so 4 power n this completes the solution with this question i would like to close today's my session in the next section i would like to teach you few more applications of binomial theorem thanks for watching